trigger warning, today's video might feel like I'm calling you out, but really, it's just generalized topics in my opinion. What's going on Clash Bashers, Rocky here today, and today we're going to give you guys 5 reasons why you suck at Clash of Clans. Now these are not going to be specifically about you, but these are 5 common things I see that people tend to struggle with inside of Clash Clans, and that if you did that a little bit better, you might attack or be a little bit better of a player. And a lot of these topics are going to apply to like the higher town halls, something like 12, 13, 14, because that's where more like skill kind of comes into the game and more ability to play the game kind of factors in. So that's going to be the plan today. We're going to talk about 5 reasons why you might suck at Clash Clans, and if you guys end up enjoying this video and don't get triggered too bad, don't forget to leave a like on this one. I, I have a feeling this one might end badly for me, but let's hop into it. Let's get into five reasons why you suck at Clash of Clans. My number one reason why you might suck at Clash Clans, you're rushed. We see this all the time, guys. Players get bored with the grind at like Town Hall 9, and this is uh, probably a good case of that. A lot of Town Hall 9 buildings on this base, look at the Queen and King. 28, 22, those are Town Hall 9 levels. And then they just get bored and they're like, oh, I wanna go up to Town Hall 14 and experience that stuff and then they get discouraged. I love these bases because they generally have a ton of loot because these players are not playing as much because it's harder to play when you're rushed. You have a harder time three-starring, you have a harder time getting the loot because you went up to Town Hall 14, now you gotta face 14s with those little baby heroes that you have, whatever army you might have, and you tend to struggle. So players like me come in, pick off all that stuff, I always recommend maxing out your town hall as close to max as possible. That way you don't face this issue. And then when you're rushed, you tend to lean on one strategy. A lot of times that strategy is electro dragons, which don't get me wrong. E drags are pretty decent, but it's not going to be the end all be all. Not all bases going to work for E dragons. And then you're going to hold yourself back because you're never going to learn any other strategies. You're going to be struggling. You're going to get discouraged. You're not going to want to play. So rushing ends up, you know, hurting your progress in the long run. And sorry to pick on this player. I just happened to find them and it was a perfect example of what i want to show off but guys don't rush and definitely don't rush to that extreme it will make you a worse player in clash of clans in the long term the number two reason why you might suck at clash of clans is you never change your war base no matter what you're running that same one war base for the past three years it doesn't matter if it gets three stars six wars in a row that's your war base and you're sticking with it this is uh not only bad on you as a player but bad for your clan you gotta go out there, find resources, and find new bases. As the meta changes, as bases changes, as base building changes, you need to update your bases. And there's resources out there like Clash Champs where you can get free bases. You don't have to pay for base builds. There are free bases out there, but if your base is getting three-starred every single war, change it guys this is gonna make you bad at clash clans it doesn't seem like it but if you're giving up three stars every single war that's not a good thing i know probably a lot of you guys thought this would be all offensively based no if you're giving up a three star every war that's bad my number three reason why you might suck at clash of clans is you think that there is a single best army for each town hall level maybe you watch a youtuber and he said an army like i don't know five icg is the best army ever so you use nothing but five icg no matter what what the base looks like. So even if the base isn't great for that strategy, you yeet it in there anyways because that is the best army ever. It's the army you know. It's the one army that gets you three stars sometimes. And this is something that holds people back. They tend to lean on one army and don't learn anything else, whether it's like 5 ICG, E-Drags like we talked about, or even like Dragons. People will lean on that one army and then when the meta shifts, they're in trouble because they don't, you know, diversify their attacks. They never learn anything else. And this tends to hold a player back. Like a base like this is bases. I say like, this is going to be a tough time to hit because there's multis on there. Uh, the clan castle's opposite of the eagle, the wizard towers. This is the base that should not be hit by five ICG, but we force it on there anyways, because that's the best army. Because my favorite YouTuber told me that's the best army for my town hall level. And then we just end up with a mediocre two star and disappointment from our clan mates. And it's, it's just all bad. So one of the things I definitely say is try to learn new attack strategies. And this is going to lead me into the next reason why you might suck at Clash of Clans. My fourth reason why you might suck at Clash of Clans is 
you're watching the wrong type of videos to learn attack strategies. Now, don't get me wrong, watching like farming videos can be very helpful for helping progress your base, but I see a lot of times people watching farming videos and taking those strategies and trying them in war when I make it very clear that it's like a farm attack or you're watching like spending sprees. I'm like, oh yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna help me. No guys, there are so many resources on Clash of Clans to help you get better. Like, let's just take one example here. My good friend Clash with Eric, he's always covering the pro scene uh, and showing off what the pros are using in esports. This is gonna help you know what's in the meta, what's actually working along with some crazy stuff. Let's be honest. I mean, like he highlights like Klaus doing like barge and stuff. You're not gonna be able to barge in war successfully, but maybe like the Super Bowler attack or the Super Bowler guide that I did the other day of how to use the Bowler Smash with Cam Wow. Those are videos that are gonna actually help you become a better player, not just teach you how to farm and upgrade your base. Don't get me wrong. Farming and upgrading your base is important, but really it's the easiest thing to do. Just go out there, find loot, grab the loot and be on your way. Taking the time to learn an attack and apply that and get good with that and attack bases with it, that's where the real skill comes in with Clash of Clans. Being able to break down a base and see what that base is giving you is the hardest thing to do. And I'm hoping to have a series coming up soon where I'm going to get more educational, invite some pros on, and help you guys become better players. So sort of like what we did here with the how to use the Super Bowler Smash with Cam Wow. I hope to do a little bit more of that, breaking down like entries, just all kinds of crazy stuff. So if you're going to try to get better and you want to truly get better at Clash of Clans, use the resources. There are actual pros out there making youtube videos like the queen walkers making youtube videos lexnos making youtube videos so many pros those are just a, a few examples off the top of my head you gotta watch the right videos if you want to get better at clash of clans and my fifth and final reason why you might suck at clash of clans is because you never practice and i'm really glad that mad ram chat is full of fc so i can show this off i see this a ton I see people never, ever, ever hit a friendly challenge. If you don't know what a friendly challenge is, you go in there, you hit challenge, you throw up a base, and then your clanmates can attack it. I see people that never, ever hit a friendly challenge, go hit in war, 76% two-star. I'm like, man, I hate this game. I suck. Bro, you never practice! How are you gonna get better if you never practice? You don't just, you're not like God's gift to Clash of Clans. You have to practice. You have to, and don't just practice with your same old army that you always, don't be just spamming in your E-drags and those FCs. Learn something new. Go out there, watch one of those pro videos, learn how to queen walk, take the time and work on it. Look, these are not three stars because they're probably working on something here. They're trying to learn a new skill, learn a new attack. Maybe they saw, you know, their favorite YouTuber, Itsu, come out with a new strategy or something and they want to practice it. And that's where the FCs come in. You shouldn't just come in here and just yeet in brand new attacks in war and CWL. You need to throw them into the FCs. This is the single most important thing, in my opinion, that you should be doing in Clash Clans, and I am guilty of it. I do not practice even remotely close to enough. We all should be practicing a lot more. If you're struggling, if you're only two-starring in war, especially at Town Hall 14, hit the FCs, guys. That's the one thing you can do that will help you out, even if it is your same army. I recommend trying to learn new stuff, but even if it is your same army and you're struggling with it, Get in there and practice. Figure out what you're doing wrong. Get there. Hit the FCs and learn, guys. Even hit friendly wars. Split your clan into two clans and war against each other. Just get out there and practice. This will make you a much better player at Clash Clans. The top players in our clan, they practice a ton. So hopefully we didn't trigger too many people here today with five reasons why you might suck at Clash Clans. But it's the truth, guys. Not always is it going to be just like sunshines and rainbows and smiles and happy faces. Sometimes you're going to suck. I mean, I brought this up and here's the reason I brought this topic up. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. And I couldn't get a recap because uh, one of our co-leaders spun the, the next war really, really quickly. But the reason I brought this up... We've faced two demotions in a row. Two demotions in a row in Mad Ram. And that's why there's not been a recap for CWL because we've been sucking at Clash Clans. And I need to not be hypocritical and take some of my own advice, get out there, watch some videos, practice, and work on things because I've been sucking. Uh, some of my clanmates have been sucking. I, that's what I'm going to call out the Mad Ram boys. Some of you guys suck sometimes. 
but we can fix that. And hopefully this video will be enough to light that spark up and we can get back on track, get promoted back up to Champions 2 because we are now down to Champions 3. And uh, it's a rough one, but hopefully this one will help you guys out and hopefully not get triggered too much because some of these are going to hit home with a lot of you guys. I know some of them hit home with me, but it's just meant to help you guys out and realize some things you could do better in Clash Clans. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, guys, don't forget to leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing. While you watch that whole video, here's another video that YouTube thinks you'll like, and here's a playlist of similar videos.